I have wonderful grandchildren and a wonderful family, my daughter and my son-in-law. I love them all so much. They keep me going. You know, just seeing them puts a smile on my face. I was somebody that was always on the go, uh, doing things with friends and traveling. But the more I did it, I found myself having to stop because my feet were hurting, and it got pretty bad. And when I went to see my endocrinologist at Cleveland, he said, Cindy, I don't believe this is neuropathy. He says, I think this is arterial disease. This is vascular disease, uh, and a lot of folks know it as heart disease, but it's the same, you know, the same vascular bed that affects your heart, affects the arteries to the leg. So unfortunately for her, she has a genetic condition which we call vasculitis, which is the inflammation of the blood vessels, which causes blockages in the arteries and prevent the blood from getting to the foot. They tried to open it up and there was nothing. So they took part of my foot and uh, that didn't work because it wouldn't heal. That time we were not able to save her leg. She got a major amputation. It was a rough road, so naturally, even thinking about the other leg was a problem. So I ended up with sores on my right big toe. I was worried. It was the same thing all over again. Having the grandchildren, thinking about them having a hard time and struggling. I think emotionally, I didn't know if I could go through it again. Losing a limb is a big deal to our patients, and we have the passion to try to save them. And that's when she called me and she said, I need you, uh, I need your help, and uh, I need your help. Going back in the office when I saw him, and I said, please, please don't, don't let them take this leg. You have to help me. And he goes <laughs> like this, and he said, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do. So there are a number of cutting edge procedures that we have brought here to UH, and we have now been able to save a number of patients. In this situation, she unfortunately did not qualify for the research because she had the vasculitis. So there were no options. Basically the trial and the government, the FDA had told us there are no options, you cannot include her. So he said, can you just hold on? And I said, I'll do it, for, you know, for you, I'll do it. So we reached out to FDA, we reached out to the company, I reached out to the leadership of UH, and collectively, we worked together to offer her a compassionate use device. We fought for her to get her this procedure, so I'm thankful to UH, to FDA, and to the company to work with us and allow us to save her leg. And as you know, it's been now two, three years, and she's still walking with her legs and doing fantastic. Now, yeah, it's great. I have no problem at all, so I'm doing good. They're my friends. They're my friends. They kept me wanting to live, and uh, they were there for me.